how to make a free website in 10 minutes google site tutorial for beginners hi guys welcome back to the channel and for today's video i will show you how fast and easy you can create your free website in google site so without further ado let's dive in first step visit sites.google.com and sign in using your google account here i already signed in then the second step is to select a template or style of the website you want to create. You have here for a portfolio, events, help center, project, team, and more. Just click here to expand. But for today's video, I will start from scratch. So I will select the blank and it will prompt you to the editing page. So here, the second thing that we need to do is to select theme for our site. To do that, go here on your right side and select theme. Here you have different theme to choose from. Select whatever you like. For example, I will choose here the vision and I will change the theme background color to black. Next thing we need to do is to add our own text here. To do that, just select the text and add your own text here. I will just add mine here, digital marketing solution for small businesses to expand this section or to resize it just drag it from this side with this point and let's also do it to other side you may also add your site logo here so just go up here on your right side just hover your mouse and click on add logo and if you want to change the background photo here you can just click here change image here you have two options you can upload your own photo from your desktop file, or you can just go to select image. Under gallery are free images from Google site. You can also add URL of the image here that you like. Just paste it or search images on Google. Your album is where you can see all the images that you uploaded here on Google site. And lastly, images from your Google Drive. I will just close this. Now let's add more block here into our site. So here on your right side hand, you have different blocks that you can add here in your site. So for example, I will add this two section block. Okay, let me just delete it. Let me first add a divider here to have a little space up here. Now I will add again the two section block. Here I can first add image. So let me just upload my image here. Now let's add some text here. Let's start by adding the title text. I will write here about us. Then I will position this text to center. So just go here and select this center. Now we can add more text here. I will just copy and paste some text. And then let me just resize the image just to level this to our text. And now let's add more text here. So just go to your right sidebar. Again, and under insert, select text box. And here I will type our services. So this is a normal text now, but we want this to be a title text. To do that, click here and choose title. So we just turn this normal text to a title text. So let's position it to the center. Then lastly, I will just add some block here again. And this time I will select this block with three images. But you can also select other block, guys. Depends on you. Here I can again add my images. So give me a moment. I will just add images here. Let me just cut this one. Now we can also put some title here to show the services that we provided. Like for example, digital marketing, SEO, and social media marketing. And down here, you can add some text or a short description about these services. I will just copy and paste some text again here. So just like that. So now we have this very simple site ready to publish. But before that, let's first check its preview. So go up here and click on this laptop and phone icon for preview. So this is what our site look like using the desktop. And we can also have it phone view. So this is what it looked like using the phone. So now let's close this by clicking on this X icon down here. 
And next is how about if you want to have another page in your site. So to add new page, just go here, pages, and go down here to add new page. Then after that, name the new page. So for example, I will name it contact us, then select done. And here Google site automatically created your header. To add contents, just click on insert again. And here you can see you can add different elements to your site. But what if we like to add some contact form here for your interested client to just send you a message? So to add contact form here, we need to first create it using Google Forms and insert it here. So to create Google Form, let's first open a new tab and go to Google and search for Google Form. And just click on this one showing like this. So this is the Google Form site where we can create our contact form. So to start, just click on Go to Forms, and here you can create different forms you like. Just click here to expand your options. But for today's tutorial, I will make use of the contact form. So here you have your questions to be asked in your contact form. To change the text here, just select the text and then add your own text. I will add here, Get in Touch. And down here to delete any field, just click on the field and click on delete. To change the text here, same earlier, just select the text and add your own text, just like this. And then to add new field or question, just click here on add icon, then enter your question here. Let me add question. Then you can select what you like for this question if you want multiple choice, checkbox, and more. I will just select checkbox and I will add here the different services that we provide. Once done with your contact form, just go back to your Google site and go to your right side here. And over here, you can see different Google Apps option. So just click on forms and here you can see the form which we just created. So click on it and click on insert down here. Now our contact form added into our site. You can resize it just like that. Now when clients or visitors fill out or answer this form, you will see that in your Google Form app. So you just need to go back to your Google Form tab and the responses is where you can see all your responses you receive from the form that we just created. So every time that you want to check, you just need to go to your Google Form app or site. And if you like to receive email notification, just click this three dots and here you have get an email notification. Just click on it. Or you can also have select response destination. Like for example, you want the response to be added in a document like spreadsheet for you to check. You can click here and then you just need to set up your Google Doc for this. And under settings is where you can also collect all the email addresses from your visitor who responded from your contact form for you to create your email list for your email marketing in the future, for example. So let's go back to our Google site and here let's preview our site again. So here is your contact us page look like on a phone view. And let's go to our page. And then let's try now the desktop view. And up here you have your tab for contact us. Just click on it. And this is what it looks like. So let's close it. And when you are ready with your site, then publish it. Click on the publish button up here. Then here, just name your website address. Like for example, mine, I will name it my digital team. And down here, you'll see your website domain name. So the sites that google.com still be the main domain and your own web address name will be a subdomain only since we are using the free website builder and free domain. If you want to have your own domain like www.mydigitalteam.com, then just click here, manage, and you can start searching for your domain name if it's available online. And if it is for you to use this domain, you must buy it or pay it for yearly. So for today's video, I will just Keep the free domain and click on publish button here. And with that, we successfully publish our website and now it's available online. So let's just go to our homepage here and then just copy your website link here. And let's open a new tab and paste this one here. 
now this is the site that we just created look like online. So that's all for today's tutorial and hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you have any question, just comment down below and like and subscribe to our channel and thank you so much for watching.